Do you value privacy and want to experiment with AI without sending your data to a third-party server? Or maybe you just want to run AI offline. If you answered yes to any of these, then running LLMs locally is the solution. I'll show you two popular and relatively easy ways to do it, using LM Studio and Olama. Method one is using LM Studio. Think of LM Studio as an all-in-one desktop application. It gives you a nice graphical user interface, you know, windows, buttons, menus, to find, download, manage, and chat with LLMs. If you prefer avoiding the command line and like having everything integrated visually, LM Studio is probably going to be your starting point. Method two is using Olama. Olama takes a slightly different approach. It's more of a lightweight background service that manages the models. You typically interact with it initially using simple commands in your terminal or command prompt. While that might sound a bit more technical, it's surprisingly straightforward, very efficient, and makes it easy to integrate with other tools or web interfaces later on. It's great if you want something lean or are comfortable with basic commands. All right, let's get started with our first method, LM Studio. Head over to lmstudio.ai. Download the installer for your operating system, Windows, Mac, or Linux. Once downloaded, open the setup file and run through the simple installation process. You can change the installation directory if you want. Let the installer complete the installation. Open LM Studio. You can follow the on-screen guide to install your first model. For now, let us skip the guide. In the main window, you can click on My Models to see which models are installed. Currently, there is no model installed. The main screen has a search bar, magnifying glass icon on the left. This is where you find models which you can download. To find uncensored versions, you need to know what to search for. Good search terms include uncensored, unfiltered, or specific model names known for less filtering, often with suffixes like instruct or chat, but specifically advertised as uncensored. For example, we may download Dolphin Mistral, which is a popular uncensored model. We have different variants of it. The size of the model is dependent on the number of parameters supported. You should always download the model that can be supported by your system. LM Studio will tell you if the model is too large to be handled by your current system specifications. Let us download this model. It is around 4 GBs and will take a while. Once downloaded, it will be automatically loaded. The good thing about LM Studio is that it has ChatGPT like interface and is very easy to use. Just type in your question and it will reply us. To check whether our model is truly uncensored, we can try some additional prompts and we can see that model is truly uncensored. Next up, Olama. Olama takes a slightly different approach. It's often managed via the command line, making it feel a bit more technical, but it's incredibly efficient and simple once you know the basic commands. It runs as a background service. Go to olama.com. Download the installer for your OS. Once downloaded, Open the installer and go through the installation process. Installation is typically very quick. On Mac and Linux, it usually sets itself up nicely. On Windows, 
it runs as a background service. You will get a nice notification once the installation is done. You can click on the notification, which will open a PowerShell window. The magic command is a llama run. You can specify the name of any model here, and it will automatically be downloaded and loaded. Let us first see how we can use a llama. To get a list of all supported commands, you can type a llama and press enter, and it will give a nice and short list of supported commands. To get a list of installed models, you can type a llama list. Here, we do not have any model installed yet. We have a nice list of models that we can install on a llama website. Just open the models tab and we have the complete list. To get an uncensored model, you need to know its name and potentially a specific tag. The Alama website's model library is a good place to look for available models, including community uploaded ones that might be uncensored. For example, we may look for the Llama 2 uncensored model. The model is available in different parameter sizes and accordingly has different sizes. Let us download and run the 7 billion parameters model. We have a nice command to automate everything. The first time you run this, Olama will download the model automatically. Subsequent runs will load it instantly. Once the model downloads and loads, you'll get a prompt directly in the terminal. To exit the chat, type slash buy. To see other commands, type forward slash question mark. Now, we can ask the model anything. Let us give it some uncensored questions and see if the model is truly uncensored. And here we can see that the model is responding to our prompts. So, LM Studio or Olama? Which one is right for you? Honestly, you can't go wrong with either, and you can even install both. Try them out and see which workflow you prefer. So there you have it. Two powerful ways to run uncensored LLMs right on your own machine using LM Studio and a Llama. This gives you incredible privacy, control, and the ability to explore AI without the usual filters. Experiment responsibly, have fun exploring the world of local LLMs, and I'll see you in the next video.